false perceptions of false reality who the real owner if your boss gets a salary what's up guys it's your boy jordan back with another e-commerce video and in this video i want to cover a very important topic when it comes to facebook ads and having success with your ads as well as standing out to the customers in their newsfeed. in this video i want to talk about ad copy and the best practices that you can follow what is currently working for me and some little tips and tricks that you might not have picked up from anybody else if you like the quality of my content let me know by hitting that subscribe button below and giving me a thumbs up also if you're interested in e-commerce and are looking for more ways to grow your business click the link in the description below to join my free facebook group there are over 1500 entrepreneurs in there and i am always in that group answering your guys's questions and helping you out in whatever way i can but without further ado let's get right into the video Quick side note before we get started, I had a few people ask me where I got this light from, uh, what this light is. The light post, I got it on Craigslist, I don't know, but the, the light, it's a Philips Hue light and it's like connected on Wi-Fi so you could change the colors or whatever you got to do. But anyways, um, when it comes to writing ad copy, it's one of the most important skills that you can develop when pursuing um, digital marketing or e-commerce in general for a variety of reasons and i'm not even talking ad copy specifically just the skill to write good copy in general um, companies hire a lot of money for people with this skill set so if you're able to master it in your own business you will be able to provide immense value to yourself and to the experience that you bring to your customers in the future, I'm going to be making a video on good copy for product descriptions, but in this video, I want to focus strictly on good ad copy for ads. <laughs> so when it comes to writing good ad copy, the first point to consider is that you want to hook your customer in without giving everything away. So what do I mean by this? Let's say you're selling a cleaning tool. You would want something in your ad copy to say, this tool is going to make your life much easier or this tool will make cleaning so much faster. But you don't want to say in the ad copy exactly what the tool is going to do. You want to kind of tease the person and play with them a little bit so it piques their interest but it doesn't send them all the way through and give them the answer that they're looking for. That's what your video is for. You have to consider that the ad copy is simply there to get their attention, to grab them, to go ahead and watch your video. That is the main focus that you should have when you're writing this ad copy. I see people, and this does work from time to time, but the most successful ads that I see follow this practice that I'm saying. I see people who will write like two, three, four paragraphs in their ad with a bunch of emojis and a bunch of copy and all this explanation of what the product is, and I guess for a certain product, maybe that would work, but for the majority of products, your goal should be to get the customer interested in the product just enough to say, okay, I want to see a little bit more about what this is and, and what they're going to show me. Also, to touch on that, you really want to try to tell them the benefit. So that, that's, that's the best way to really hook them in is right away you tell them the benefit that the product is going to provide them. So the example that I gave before is a good one for a cleaning product. You want to say, this is going to make your life easier or this will save you so much time. When they see that, they're going to say, oh, maybe I do need to save a little bit of time. How can I go about saving the time? And that is when they click your video and that's when you have your opportunity to sell them on the product. That is probably the most important point that I'm going to share to you guys and I wanted to cover it first. So the rest of the tips that I'm going to give you are just about the structure of your ad copy and the way to put everything together. But that tip alone is the one that's going to be able to transform your ad copy and the results that you're getting from the copy significantly. Trust me, for a long time I struggled because I was explaining everything that the product did in the ad copy and what happens is, is Yes, you're probably still going to get sales, but you're going to miss out on a lot of potential customers because you're not setting the bait. We'll use that term. You're not setting the bait for the customer to get it, grab it, and hook them in to watch the video and go through the rest of the funnel. 
when you explain the product right out of the gate, you're going to get people who are interested in it and buy it. But when you hook them in, you're going to get people who might not have been interested in the first place, potentially to become interested, which will ultimately result in more sales. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I tried to cover that in the simplest way possible, but um, there's a lot of science behind ad copy, and I really suggest that you guys look into this and research it yourself a little bit extra. This is just more of a baseline and a guideline to follow for structuring these ads, but it's a really important skill, and you definitely should put it together. The next tip that I want to say is don't use too much text. So, oh wow. <laughs> Same concept as what I'm explaining before, but a little different in the sense that you want to hook them in right away, but then with everything else in your copy, you don't want to say too much. So it's good to present an offer to the customer. It's good to add a call to action. It may be good to even share a couple benefits of the product, but you really don't want to go overboard with the text. You want it to be easy on the eyes, and I'll write this down. Easy on the eyes, quick to read, and... I don't really ever use big words, so we'll, use, we'll say simple vocabulary. And these three points are really important because you got to remember, if we're doing Facebook ads, your customer is on Facebook. They're just scrolling through their feed, looking at what their friends are up to, looking at funny videos and funny memes. You don't want to be that giant wall of text. They're just going to keep scrolling right past that. So you want to do something that's light and simple and kind of straight to the point to get them to watch your video and eventually click through to your website and go ahead and go through the rest of your funnel. And as for the simple vocabulary side of things, I think this is good for two reasons. One, for people who are international and you target somebody who may speak a little bit of English but doesn't have the best English, it's going to be good because they're gonna know the basic words that you're saying or at least it'll be easily translatable. And also, not everybody is that smart when it comes to vocabulary, so go ahead and go with the simple stuff, and quick to read is pretty self-explanatory. Two more tips that I have for you guys. Um, the first one, and this is a big one, is to use questions in your ad copy. Questions work extremely well because it gets the customer thinking. It gets them considering whatever your topic or product is. So in the cleaning product case, we'll say, do you spend so much time cleaning or do you spend a lot of time doing the dishes? Whatever the product may be, the questions are good because it makes the customer think and consider, do I need this product? If you look at 90% of infomercials like the Billy Mays and like the Sham Wow stuff, they almost always open up with a question and it makes sense for the exact reason that I just said. The last tip that I have for you guys, and it's quite a simple one, is use emojis. Emojis are really good with Facebook and Instagram ads because they make your post seem more natural and authentic in the user's feed. The majority of their friends posting pictures are going to be using emojis. They're going to be using um, little, I guess, emojis. That's what I'm going to say. And when you put that in your ad, it really makes it seem more like an organic or just a regular Facebook post, which therefore makes them more inclined to read it, which therefore makes them inclined to watch the video and go through the whole funnel. You guys have to remember this process is like a funnel. It starts out with your customer scrolling, and the first thing is you want to hook them with a good ad copy. Once they like the ad copy, then they go ahead and go through with the video. And if your video is good, they're going to click through and purchase on your website. So it's really important to nail that first step of the funnel because then everything else will fall into place accordingly and you'll see the results that you want to see. Ad copy is something that does take a little bit of practice and trial and error, but I believe with the tips that I shared with you guys, you should have no problem mastering it in no time at all. I hope this video provided some value to you guys. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, hit that subscribe button. We hit 1,500 subscribers. It's crazy to see how fast this channel is growing. And I'm going to keep dropping fire content for you guys for as long as I can. So I got big things on the way. I got tons of exciting stuff to bring to you guys. And I can't wait. So if you want to stay connected with me, just join that Facebook group below. Leave a, leave a post or something, and I'll reply, and we can chat on there. But for now, I'm finished with this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.